What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to run a compression test. I'm going to do it on these B18A1 motors that are in this CRX SI and also in my 90 Civic. First thing you need to do, you need to get the motor up to operating temperature. Both of these cars I drove around the block and I had been letting them idle and uh, waiting for the fans to kick on and both have kicked on. I'm just not showing you just for the, the purpose of time. It takes a little while to get the car to operate in temperature. The first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is get the distributor unplugged completely. Next, you want to get the injectors unplugged. You don't want them uh, spraying fuel while we're trying to perform this test. What I like to do, uh, I like to pull, just disconnect the main fuel relay. Normally it's located up under your dash in here. You can just disconnect the plug uh, for purposes of running this test. I leave it out because I'll sometimes pull the fuel relay out when I'm leaving the car parked outside. So that's why mine is just hanging here. But go ahead and remove uh, the main fuel relay or you can go ahead and disconnect all four fuel injectors. Now if you didn't want to just remove the main fuel relay, you can go ahead and get all four of the injector clips off of the injectors. There's a little metal ring that goes around the entire clip. You just need to slide it over on both sides and then you can pull the clips up if this is how you prefer to get the injectors to stop from spraying. Your next step, you want to remove all the spark plug wires and get all the spark plugs removed from the car. We're going to do a cylinder one. All the plugs are out. Let's get in the car. Wide open throttle. Looking at 155, cylinder number two, also about one, a little bit short of 160. Cylinder number three is about 162, 161. And cylinder number four is about 155. So it looks like the CRX has pretty even compression all the way across from like 155 to about 162, which is really solid. The nominal readings for these motors is between 135 and 199 PSI. So this motor looks like it's still very, very healthy. Now we're going to wrap up the 90 Civic. Cylinder number one, go for it. It's good. 120. This is cylinder number two. You're good. About 160. Now we're going to do cylinder number three. Good. And the last cylinder, cylinder number four. They're good. This one also about 160. So it looks like just the first cylinder, we have the 120. It's a little bit lower than the rest. No, that's good. And uh, easy way to do a compression test on your car. I bought this compression tester at Harbor Freight. It's a US General, relatively simple to use. Threads right into it easily. Once you're finished, go ahead and replug back in all your wires. Reconnect your distributor, also your main fuel relay, or your injector clips. And you're set to go. Um, the compression test just kind of gives you an idea of which cylinders are healthier than the others. Obviously my problem is in cylinder number one. This car smokes a lot, so more than likely uh, the rings are bad. Now you can do a wet compression test, which is adding a little bit of oil to each cylinder as you do it. That'll raise the compression slightly, but it'll give you an idea if it's sealing it with the oil that's in the, the cylinder. It's a kind of a different test, but you can also do that also. Thanks for watching guys. Hope it helped out. If you need any help, let me know.